Peacock. Joining me, we have Terry Bortz, all the way down here from Cincinnati. Um, Terry, you're setting up the whole, the breakfast that right. is the day before the uh, Super Bowl. That's right. And, um, well, welcome to Tampa. Thank you. Are you enjoying the weather? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go home. When do you leave? <laughs> Tomorrow. So are you just doing a site survey down here? Or a I come down stuff? once a month throughout the year to plan it. It's a long process. Do you, oh, tell us a little bit about the breakfast. Because okay. you, have you been doing this for every year? This will be the 22nd year. That you've put Well, this I've on? been doing it for 17, but Athletes in Action has been hosting it for 22 years. And it's sanctioned by the NFL. So it's one of the 10 official sanctioned events of Super Bowl weekend. And it features the presentation of the Bart Star Award. Yeah, you know, I would tell us about the Bart Star Award because okay. most of the awards, and excuse my ignorance, but people give the athletes is for their athleticism. Right. The BART Award is completely different. Completely different, yes. Well, BART Starr um, is a legend in the NFL. He was the uh, MVP in Super Bowls one and two with the Green Bay Packers. And we wanted to give an award for character and leadership to an NFL player. And when we tried to think, who should we name this award after, BART Starr's name came to the top of the list. So this is from the NFL then? This is, this is no, it's really from Athletes in Action, athletes, although sorry, it's sanctioned by the NFL. Okay. And so BART Starr agreed to put his name on the award. And he has been at every single Super Bowl breakfast since 1989 to personally present the award and some people will come to the Super Bowl breakfast just to see Bart Starr. Now and it's not just Super Bowl, uh, it's not just athletes, I mean you have politicians there, you have and athletes from all over who aren't even a candidate for the award still right. come. Right, yeah. We have, um, well this year on the program already we've confirmed Tony Dungy and Derek Brooks, Leroy Selman, Anthony Munoz who's an NFL Hall of Famer from the Cincinnati Bengals. He's also a recipient of also the, a past isn't recipient. Derek Brooks as well? He is, yes. There's a lot of past recipients with Tampa ties, um, John Lynch, Trent Dilfer, Derek Brooks, yep, yep. and this year on the ballot I is saw that. Warwick da -da -da. Dunn. <laughs> but the, the BART Award, the BART Star Award also mm -hmm. goes out for what they do in the community. It's because Absolutely. of who they are that gets them to do what they do in the community. And yes. I can't think of any better person than uh, Warwick Dunn with his yeah. Habitat for Humanities and just making a difference mm -hmm. in the community and coming and when he left, he still was involved in the Tampa Bay community. Right. So right, and he's actually been on the ballot before and has come very close to winning. So we're keeping our fingers crossed for this year. But it's for outstanding character and leadership in the home, on the field, and in the community. And so it is for you know character, being a role model, character, leadership, integrity, and community service. What is Athletes in Action? Okay, Athletes in Action is a sports ministry. We work with college and professional athletes. So we're on just about every major college campus in the country, including USF. We also provide chaplains to many of the NFL teams, including the Bucks. Mm -hmm. And so they do chapels and Bible studies and camps and, and different things like that. We're also in 75 countries around the world. Really? Yeah. So it's just more the NFL people that are part of Athletes in Action. Is it everybody that can be part of that? College and professional. Wow, athletes. you just said that too. And I yeah. just that. Wow. Yeah. Now, talking about the breakfast, their tickets are cheap. Yes, They're normally tickets would be $150 each because we'd be in a ballroom in a big hotel at tables. But this year, we decided to go to the Sun Dome. And oh, nice. Yes. Uh -huh. So we'll have a limited number of tables on the floor for our sponsors and then general admission seats in the bleachers for $20 with a box meal included. And you get to see Tony Jun uh, Dungy, Derek Brooks, and Trent Dilfer right. speak, maybe. Right. And the, you know, Anthony Nunez. Mo Nunez. Anthony Munoz. Yes. Um, who are some of your sponsors that help you put on this? Um, our title sponsors are Able Body Labor from Clearwater and Park West Gallery from out of Detroit. And then our host sponsors are K-Force um, mm -hmm. Personnel and North Star Bank. And then we have a number of other sponsors, and boy, I'd hate to leave anybody out. <laughs> so we won't mention any of that. But all the information is on your website, Absolutely. but I actually just checked out today. How many people do you expect or do you hope to get at the Sundown? We hope to have 6,000 people. And how many, do you know how many you have right now? We have over 1,000. Oh, so you're yeah. on your way. We're on and our way. It's going to get more and more as the, mm -hmm. you get closer to the app. Yeah, and the other thing, too, I mean, you can easily go to Ticketmaster.com and get tickets, the $20 tickets, and what a great Christmas gift, you know? If you have Stocking a, stuffer, if absolutely. You, if you have a sports fan on your Christmas list and you can get an, a $20 ticket to an NFL-sanctioned Super Bowl event, I mean, you can't beat it. Uh, what's the box breakfast? It all depends on what's in it's there. A, it's a <laughs> breakfast <bagel>. burrito. <laughs> and you get a choice, meat or meatless. <laughs> I can't believe you've been doing this for 17 years. Yeah. So is your whole year consist of just putting this breakfast not on? Not really, not really. I'm with our media department, and as it gets, and I do the Super Bowl breakfast throughout the year, but it gets really busy December and January. So you, we, next year it's going to be in Miami. Right. So have you already gone down there and did location scouting, or are you just going to wait? I have not, because we were just there. 
two years ago. Uh, so you kind of <laughs> so know. I know where I want to be. I've got my committee together. You know, they're just waiting for me to come back. <laughs> Give us your um, website so people can okay. buy tickets or get more information okay. about. For tickets, it's Ticketmaster.com. For gen general information about the Super Bowl Breakfast of the Bart Star Award, it's SuperBowlBreakfast.com. And that video up there is great that I watched it today and mm -hmm. watching Tony Dungy speak, it's yeah. impa he's impassioned. He's, yeah. he, I mean, he's passionate about the whole topic. Right. I mean, it's great. Right. And you can get more information about athletes in action mm -hmm. on that website too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to go home and take a break a little after tomorrow? Well, I guess. It's just going to be so cold. What else is there to do? <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I know. <laughs> Terry, thank you very much for coming thank down you. and joining us. It was a pleasure to have you here. And go get Ticketmasters.com, and it's a 2009 Super Bowl breakfast, the one of the 10 NFL-sanctioned events that you want to go to. And you can see all the, you might you might run into Tony Dungy there. You might. You might touch Warwick Dunn and congratulate him <laughs> if he wins. That's right. <laughs> we're going to take our next break. As soon as I return, we'll be chatting with our good friend, Chris Soroka, here to talk about the festivities surrounding the Super Bowl. We'll see you right back here in 60 seconds. <laughs>